so it came it came really fast shipping too it only took like two days but um yeah there it is the mash and boil so have not opened it yet so let me get it opened up and uh, we'll do an initial uh, kind of setup and just to see if it works and how long it takes to heat up water so okay I'll be right back okay so it really we got it all unpacked ready to go um, this is the main unit the Brewer's Edge mash and boil main unit um, this is the the mashing uh, pan so you guys are, pr are probably all familiar uh, this thing sets inside and you mash inside uh, it's got holes on the bottom and uh, yeah so I think it I, I believe it says 16 pounds of grain is what it can hold which is perfect for me um, I don't do big um, I don't do very many big batches and when I do do a big batch I still have my uh, you know 10 gallon system here in the garage that will handle that but uh, yeah this is really just to get me out of the heat and the cold in the winter time uh, so I can brew in my basement but it has that and it came with the lid um, one thing it did it does do is it has a uh, it has a uh, etching it was not etching it's imprinted but um, it has this is the seven gallon mark is right here so I mean if you just had to cram eight gallons in here but you'll probably boil over. So yeah, it's marked up to seven gallons, can probably hold eight, you know, but it's, so yeah, so seven gallons with a little bit of breathing room. Um, oh, and uh, one thing I I assumed was gonna be the case, but you can take this, uh, this uh, barb off and then you can put in kind of whatever fitting you wanted to use. Um, so that does, that does work. So and you've got the uh, a thousand watt and a sixteen hundred watt uh, on and off. So I believe there's probably a thousand watt and then a six hundred watt, two separate elements. Uh, I I'm not gonna take the bottom off to look underneath there, and just an on and off switch. So that's pretty basic. I haven't gone through this yet. I haven't plugged it in. So let's go ahead and get some water in there and get it plugged in and see the heat times. Okay, just got done mixing it really good. Let's see what it's reading now. So 86, almost basically 87, 86.9. And let's see what it's saying down here now. 87. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's something definitely to take in to account is that the temperature <coughs> is not in the middle it's obviously on the bottom so you can see the little bubbles down there kind of getting heated up um, so the, the hot it seems to be about two or three degrees difference if you just let it sit between the temperature that's reading and the temperature in the top so yeah something to keep in mind but yeah I would say that the temperature sensor in here is very accurate uh, within a degree so okay let me see how much time we got uh, I forgot my phone in there, but uh, I will keep track of all of the times, and I will put uh, I will put all those times in the description of temperatures and stuff like that. But so far, it's doing pretty good. It's you know came up 10 degrees or more in probably 10 minutes ish. So okay, I'll get back with you when we're uh, maybe get into a higher temp. Consider that a boil, and the temp is at 202. Which I'm at, I'm in Denver, so I'm a mile high, so I don't boil at uh, 212. Probably like 204 is actually what I've measured most of the time, so this might get a little bit hotter, but I would consider this a roiling boil. And it is an hour and 45 minutes almost exactly. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put up a chart um, on this, like a, a graph chart. I'm going to try to do something. Maybe, maybe I won't. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it turns out, but I might try to put a put up a graph chart real fast just to to see how it goes but yeah so from 72 degrees to a rolling to a to a boil is an hour and 45 minutes now that seems like a really long time but you also have to remember that this thing has a timer so you can have it uh, turn on by itself and it will be at mashing temperature uh, when you start your brew day so um, that's gonna take off you know a good 50 minutes right there so 
All right, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to include all the times I, I took a measurement every 10 minutes of uh, yeah, I took a measurement every 10 minutes almost exactly. So, I'll have those times right there uh, so you guys can look at them in the description. All right. So, uh next video I'll have to post up uh, actually using it. So, yeah, sounds great. Let's see if it's gone up at all. 203. See, so yeah, it's still going up. But all right, guys. All right, one thing I'm doing real fast is just uh, checking the how it mashes and what temperatures it turns on and off at. Um, as you can see, I have it at 155 uh, to simulate like a mash. Um, it's at 152 right now, and it, it, it's on. But it didn't turn on until... Well, that's, so what happened was is I had the boiling water and I set the mash temperature to 155 and then I um, I brought the temperature down so to just simulate like a mash so I you know I had it you know I had like 200 degree water um, set the temperature at 155 uh, the elements turned off like they should have and then I uh, just added a bunch of cold water and brought it down to like one, 155 and it didn't turn back on um, and I just kind of kept adding cold water, cold water, and it got down to 150, and then it kicked back on. So I am going to see what happens. Okay, so I got the uh, brewmaster all cleaned up. So I figured out what the temperature ranges are. It has a six degree swing. Um, so I had it set at 155, and when it it would get to 149, turn back on get to 155 and then shut off so it was going between 155 and 149 so that's six degrees so um, it's kind of not th that big of a deal um, if I was to set if I would I would set it at 155 if I wanted it to be at 152 153 because it would just kind of go in between those numbers so um, yeah it is what it is um, I think it's I think it's gonna work out if you if I really wanted to like micromanage it you know I could probably turn a pump on and then just turn it on when I wanted it to heat up and stuff like that but we'll just kinda I'll just kinda let it go you just have to figure or just have to had figured out that it only has that you don't set it at 155 if you want to mash at 155 because it's really gonna be mashing at like it'll be mashing between 149 and 155 so to be in that range so and it's fine that won't make a beer go bad or anything like that, so that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's it. So yeah, I got her all cleaned up and stuff like that. So um, cool. Well, we'll see you guys later. Uh, I'll have to post a video of my first brew day with it. See how it goes. All right, bye.